Good morning. Today I have Terry Lynch from Power Nickel. How are you today? Just great today, Tracy. Well, I would say you're great. If it's is it just me or are these 43101 compliant mineral resource estimates staggering? Let's talk about that. We're super excited about it. Yeah, we we think that shows there's uh, there's a mind to be had there at Neskim. We're going to find it. Can you talk to some of these highlights here? I'm just reviewing the information here. Uh, I see uh, 2.587 million tons. Yeah. Can you talk uh, to this, please? Yeah, sure. So that's the indicated resource uh, combined between the open pit and the and the decline. And uh, the one thing I would draw everyone's attention to is that we use very conservative numbers. Those are, uh, you know, uh, another nickel company came out just as we got these numbers uh, with their PEA with numbers that were 25% more aggressive on the pricing side used as a PEA. So it's still uh, obviously allowed by Porter 101. So if we use those numbers, our, our numbers would be up by 25% in terms of tonnage. So, but we, we felt we, we did that because we wanted to, that's what Talon Metals used in their deposit. And we sort of see ourselves as a comparable to them. Obviously, not as good as they are right now, but uh, hope springs eternal. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great uh, first start, and you can look at the isometric views, and you can see very uh, plainly where we can go with infill drilling to add a bunch of tons fairly easily and fairly fairly low risk. So that's exciting for us as uh, as the mine developers. We sort of see that as a, a really uh, low risk get. And of course, those of you out there going, ah, Trace, I don't know about Power Nickel. Let's back you up for a second, okay? Let's talk about the James Bay area where you're located, mm -hmm. which is a prominent location for a lot of producers. So you've got the infrastructure. Why don't you provide us with an interview of the NISC Nickel project, please? Sure, yeah, so NISC was, uh, we acquired it, uh, uh, an option to acquire 80% from our partner, uh, Critical Elements. Critical Elements is a very fine uh, lithium um, um, junior mine explorer that's developing the very great rose lithium deposit uh, in the neighborhood, about uh, 40 clicks away. Uh, Namaska lithium is just about 10 clicks away. The airport's about 10 clicks away. We're across the road from major Hydro-Quebec substation. So you can literally drive to the uh, site and you can stay in a hotel. And, and, you know, that's so rare in mine. You can't believe to understand how rare that is. So it's really cool. So we're super close to... Um, infrastructure uh, will be the greenest nickel mine in history because of the access to the uh, you know Quebec hydro grid and uh, it's right there so uh, we're pretty stoked about the location and obviously Quebec is you know probably the you know the most preferred location to develop a mine at in the world I'd say today because of the cheap power and the being very pro mining friendly the Cree are the native Indian band that's in the, the neighborhood they're very supportive to the mining projects there three of them are already being developed uh, uh, you know, um, uh, our uh, partner, um, Critical Elements, has great relationships with with the Cree, and we're expecting to sort of tag on with that and and and, and grow that relationship. And uh, yeah, we're we're pretty excited about uh, it as a great place to move forward and and uh, you know create Canada's next uh, nickel sulfide mine. And of course, I'm going to back you up here. We have a number of critical points to go with your announcement this morning. Let's start with what you have. Now, a lot of people out there are following nickel because of what's happening with Russia and the, Uc the Ukraine, but you also have copper, cobalt, platinum, and the palladium group of metals. Can you just talk to us a little bit more about your wide group of yeah, materials yeah. and metals and resources that you actually have here? Yeah, we're super excited to have such a metallic mix in our deposit. It really de-risks it in many ways. And, you know, we're having copper, cobalt, uh, palladium, uh, and platinum. It basically adds almost another, well, we go from about 0 0.72, 0 0.75 nickel to 1.25. So it's that good. It adds almost 60, 70%. So it really de-risks it and uh, makes it much easier to develop. And of course, I have history with you, Terry. So I appreciate the quality of qualified persons that you've selected. Would you like to talk to us a little bit about uh, the group that provided the mineral resource? Yeah, you know, 3DGO is uh, really a smart group of, uh, of young engineers and geologists in, in Quebec, and they've had a lot of experience in this neighborhood. And that's why we select them. We basically met them through, uh, through critical elements that they've done work for. And uh, they hit the ground running because they, they knew the lay of the land. They've done <clears throat> a couple of their mines in, the, in, that, in that area. 
And that's critical in, in any sort of uh, mine project to get professionals that, that know the turf. I mean, in theory, you know, a geologist is a geologist, a geologist, like anywhere in the world, but it, it's great to have domain expertise. And these guys have terrific domain expertise and they're, they're uh, it, a, a good geologist is a scientist, but he's also an artist. You got to have a feel for where Mother Earth is, is hiding things. And, and some guys have it, and some guys don't. I mean, I'm not a geologist, I'm, but I've seen it, you know, and I've seen guys that have PhDs and all this stuff. They couldn't find, you know, they're just, they're just not gifted in the field, you know, in, in finding the resource, but they can analyze the crap out of things. But some guys got away with resource, and these guys come up with a model concept that was uh, fantastic. And our, our, uh, our drill program, we, we did a, only a 2,500 meter drill program um, and it, you know, added like almost 40% to the historic resource right out of the gate. So, uh, you know, that's staggering. So we got 5,000 meters coming. What are we going to add with that? So get excited, folks. We have done stories before on the power of treasure hunters, because we agree with you, Terry. There's a lot of people with the right designations, but they couldn't find anything to save their lives. So we are going to cut this quickly and get it to the street because we understand you're going to be doing a large teleconference this morning at 1030 to discuss your results. Indeed. Thanks so much, Tracy, for having me on. And I hope you'll follow up with us in a couple of weeks so we can find out what the aftermath is of the, these results hitting the street. Thank you, Terry. Perfect. Cheers for now.